pandemic been like for all you guys uh as a band i guess personally with with your kids and professionally you know together as as a band so it's funny enough so the last album storms and prayers that uh came out not long after the pandemic first hit so we we're kind of trying to decide whether we should go ahead with it and put it out or if we, if we should put it on hold and wait till things calm down because at that point it was going to be a couple weeks or a month nobody knew what was going on so we pushed ahead, that came out. Now we're working on another album during the same pandemic and still a bunch of delays and this sort of thing. Uh, but at the same time, we've had a lot of great opportunities, a lot of great virtual shows. We actually did a tour of the province during the pandemic and we just got out before everything locked down again, I think, that time. Uh, so it's been a lot of ups and downs. Uh, we got some uh, pretty uh, exciting tour dates uh, coming up that will be announced with the new album and, and this sort of thing. And uh, hopefully that all, all that happens. But uh, it's been a lot of ups and downs, a lot of rescheduling, a lot of, as you can imagine, so I'm sure everyone's gone through the same sort of thing. But uh, it hasn't been all bad for sure. We've had a lot of successes through it as well. And you've been busy writing more music during the pandemic. Like you said, you released one album and, and there's another one in the works. How do you stay creative and, and stay motivated um, 
despite the kind of challenges and, and extra hurdles that stand in the way in the middle of a pandemic? I think that uh, being in the north in Labrador, we are very used to contending with barriers like travel and logistics and just exposure in general. Uh, I think it prepared us a lot and uh, to deal with the pandemic and stuff. We don't, whenever we do anything or embark on any projects, we know that there's going to be extra challenges for us. You know, costs are way higher. Uh, our schedules are are way less uh, flexible because we all work, as, it, as I say, we um, full time and other things. Um, so, you know, we're used to having to kind of work around things and try to make every opportunity we have the most impactful it can be because you know we're here and when we go out somewhere we have to make the most of it so i think that helps us a lot um also we have always like a backlog of um unfinished songs or songs that we've started so it's not hard for us to kind of say okay we, it's, you know it's been a year and a half it's time to start working on something else we can usually pull things and i'm I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm the main songwriter. I usually have the ideas for the songs and start them off. So I made a joke the other day and said, like, Ron Hines is the man of a thousand songs. I'm the man of a thousand unfinished songs. I have so many in my notes. And uh, so it's not hard to take them and start growing them again and watering them, you know, with the, with the boys here. And uh, before you know it, we do, we have enough for a song, a record, and it always seems to kind of come out of nowhere and we're surprised at how quickly they come about, which is awesome. Yeah. 
Geese in the Wind. What's that one about? Well, that, that song is kind of born out of a little bit of torment, it feels like. You know, the verses are talking about kind of sleeplessness and waking up and kind of struggling with silence in your room and then kind of fantasizing. And it kind of came in. It was a song that was really largely written in uh, the deepest, darkest part of our winter where golden hour is 4 p.m. Uh, you know, it's too cold to snow. It's too dark to see. Uh, so that's where the song came, kind of came out of. So the chorus talks about being brought along by the wind, by the geese who are heading south to a place that's warm. <laughs> and it, I think it kind of comes out of that. Uh, so it's a song about wanting to kind of get away from this frozen environment that we find ourselves in. Where the fruit 